In this video, we'll explore 10 of the most mysterious flying machines from the past. From ancient artifacts to modern UFO sightings, these machines defy explanation. What were they? Who built them? And where did they come from? Here are 10 mysterious flying machines from the past. Number 10. World War II Foo Fighters During World War II, Allied and Axis pilots reported seeing mysterious glowing orbs or Foo Fighters that seemed to follow their aircraft. These objects were never identified and remain a UFO mystery from the past. Foo Fighters were first reported in November 1944 by pilots of the U.S. 415th Night Fighter Squadron. The pilots described seeing bright orange lights flying alongside their aircraft at high speeds. The lights were able to outmaneuver the planes and were not visible on radar. Foo Fighter sightings were reported by pilots on both sides of the war and in both the European and Pacific theaters. Some pilots reported seeing single lights, while others reported seeing formations of up to 20 lights. The lights were often described as being red, orange, or green, and they sometimes appeared to be metallic or glowing. Foo Fighters were a mystery to the pilots who saw them. They didn't know what they were or where they came from. Some pilots thought they might be secret weapons being developed by the enemy. Others thought they might be alien spacecraft. One of the most famous Foo Fighter sightings occurred on November 27, 1944. Captain Kenneth Arnold was flying his private plane over Washington State when he saw a formation of nine bright lights flying in formation. Arnold described the lights as being shaped like saucers and moving like a pancake skipping across the water. Arnold's sighting was widely reported in the media, and it helped to popularize the term flying saucer. It also led to a wave of UFO sightings in the United States and around the world. The U.S. Air Force investigated Foo Fighter sightings during World War II, but they were unable to identify the objects. The Air Force's official report on Foo Fighters concluded that they were probably natural phenomena or psychological illusions. However, many people believed that Foo Fighters were real and that they were some kind of advanced technology. Some people believed that Foo Fighters were secret weapons developed by the Nazis or the Japanese. Others believed that Foo Fighters were alien spacecraft. The mystery of the Foo Fighters remains unsolved, but the sightings continue to fascinate people today. Number 9. Aurora Airship Mystery In the late 19th century, people in the United States reported seeing mysterious airships in the sky. These airships were large, cigar-shaped objects with lights and propellers. They were so strange and unusual that they became known as the Aurora Airships. The Aurora Airships were first seen in Aurora, Texas, in April 1897. People all over the state reported seeing them, and soon sightings were reported from other parts of the country as well. The airships were seen at night and during the day, and they were sometimes seen flying very low. One of the most famous sightings of the Aurora Airships happened in Harrison, Nebraska, on April 25, 1897. A large crowd of people gathered outside the courthouse to watch an airship fly overhead. The airship was described as being about 200 feet long and 50 feet wide. It had a bright white light and colored lights around it, and it was oval shaped with a box-like structure hanging from it and a propeller at the stern. The airship flew over the crowd for about 30 minutes before disappearing into the sky. People who saw the Aurora airships often reported that they were making a strange humming noise. Some people even claimed to have seen strange creatures inside the airships. However, no one was ever able to get a close enough look at the airships to identify them. The Aurora airships disappeared as suddenly as they had appeared. After the end of April 1897, there were no more sightings of them. The mystery of the Aurora airships has never been solved. There are many theories about who built the Aurora airships and why. Some people think that they were built by secret inventors who were trying to develop new types of aircraft. Others think that they were built by aliens. Still others think that they were simply hoaxes. Whatever the truth may be, the Aurora airships remain one of the greatest mysteries in aviation history. Number 8. The Phoenix Lights On March 13, 1997, thousands of people in Phoenix, Arizona, saw a massive V-shaped object with lights flying silently over the city. The object was so large that it blocked out the stars. Some witnesses said it was as long as a football field. Others said it was even bigger. The U.S. Air Force initially claimed that the Phoenix lights were flares, but many witnesses remained unconvinced. Flares are typically dropped from planes and fall to the ground quickly. But the Phoenix lights hovered in the sky for over an hour, and they were much bigger and brighter than any flares that witnesses had ever seen before. The Phoenix lights were also seen by pilots and air traffic controllers. One pilot reported seeing a massive V-shaped object with lights flying over his plane. 
An air traffic controller reported seeing a fleet of unknown aircraft flying over Phoenix. The U.S. Air Force eventually admitted that it didn't know what the Phoenix lights were. The Air Force said that it had investigated the incident, but that it couldn't find any evidence to support the claims that the Phoenix lights were UFOs. But many people believe that the Phoenix lights were UFOs. They point to the fact that the object was so large and bright, and that it hovered in the sky for over an hour. They also point to the fact that the U.S. Air Force has a history of covering up UFO sightings. The Phoenix lights remain one of the most compelling UFO sightings in history. The event is still being debated today. Some people believe that the Phoenix lights were proof of extraterrestrial life. Others believe that the Phoenix lights were a secret military experiment. And still others believe that the Phoenix lights were simply a natural phenomenon that we don't yet understand. Number 7. Flying Monk Almer The Flying Monk of Malmesbury is a fascinating historical figure who represents the human desire to fly. In the 11th century, this English monk named Almer attempted to fly using wings attached to his arms. According to historical accounts, he glided for a short distance before crashing. While Almer's flight was unsuccessful, it remains an important and inspiring moment in the history of aviation. Almer was a curious and intelligent man. He was also a devout Christian. He was inspired by the Greek myth of Daedalus and Icarus, who flew using wings made of wax and feathers. Almer believed that God had given humans the ability to fly, and he was determined to prove it. Almer spent years studying the flight of birds. He also studied the laws of physics. He eventually designed a pair of wings made of wood and feathers. He attached the wings to his arms and hands. One day, Almer climbed to the top of the tower of Malmesbury Abbey. He took a deep breath and jumped. He flapped his wings furiously, and he began to glide through the air. Almer's flight was short-lived. He flew for about 200 meters before crashing to the ground. He broke his legs, but he survived. Almer's flight was unsuccessful, but it was a remarkable achievement. He was one of the first people in history to attempt to fly using wings. His story is a reminder of the human spirit of exploration and innovation. Number 6. Icarus Myth Origins the myth of Icarus, who flew too close to the sun with wings made of feathers and wax, is one of the most famous stories in Greek mythology. But what if Icarus's story was inspired by real-world flight experiments that took place in ancient times? Some historians believe that the Icarus myth may have been based on the work of ancient inventors who were trying to develop ways for humans to fly. For example, the Greek inventor Daedalus is said to have built a pair of wings for himself and his son Icarus. While Icarus's wings melted when he flew too close to the sun, Daedalus's wings were able to withstand the heat, and he was able to fly safely to Sicily. Another possible source of inspiration for the Icarus myth is the work of the Chinese inventor Mozi, who lived in the 5th century BC. Mozi is said to have built a wooden bird that could fly for short distances. He also wrote a book on aviation in which he described different types of flying machines, including gliders and helicopters. While there is no concrete evidence that ancient people were able to fly in the same way that modern airplanes can, there is some evidence to suggest that they were experimenting with different ways to achieve flight. For example, archaeologists have found ancient artifacts that resemble wings and other parts of flying machines. So, is it possible that the Icarus myth was inspired by real-world flight experiments that took place in ancient times? It's certainly possible. The evidence suggests that ancient people were interested in flight and that they were experimenting with different ways to achieve it. However, it's also important to remember that the Icarus myth is a story, and it's possible that it is simply a cautionary tale about the dangers of overreaching. Number 5. The Lubbock Lights On June 30, 1908, a massive explosion occurred in the Tunguska region of Siberia, Russia. The explosion was so powerful that it flattened trees over an area of 2,150 square kilometers, about the size of Rhode Island. The shock wave from the explosion was felt hundreds of miles away, and the sky was lit up with a bright flash that was visible for hundreds of miles as well. Scientists are still not sure exactly what caused the Tunguska event. The most common theory is that it was caused by a meteoroid or comet that exploded in the atmosphere before it reached the ground. However, there are other theories as well, including the possibility that the explosion was caused by an extraterrestrial craft or a nuclear explosion. One of the reasons why the Tunguska event is so mysterious is because there are no known impact craters in the area. This suggests that whatever caused the explosion did not hit the ground. Another mystery is that there are very few physical remains of the object that caused the explosion. Scientists have found a few small fragments of metal and glass, but these fragments are too small to provide much information. 
Despite the lack of evidence, there are still some people who believe that the Tunguska event was caused by an extraterrestrial craft. They point to the fact that the explosion was incredibly powerful and that it occurred in a very remote area. They also argue that the lack of physical remains suggests that the object that caused the explosion was not made of any known material. Another theory is that the Tunguska event was caused by a nuclear explosion. However, this theory is not very likely, as nuclear weapons were not developed until the 1940s. Additionally, there is no evidence of radiation in the area of the explosion. So, what caused the Tunguska event? The answer is still a mystery. However, the Tunguska event is a reminder that there is still much that we don't know about the universe and our place in it. Number 4. Egyptian Saqqara Bird the Saqqara bird is a small wooden figurine that was discovered in 1898 in a tomb in Saqqara, Egypt. It is estimated to be around 2,200 years old. The bird is about 6 inches long and has a wingspan of about 10 inches. Its body is shaped like a modern airplane with a long fuselage and a pointed nose. Its wings are swept back and have a slight upward curve. The Saqqara bird has puzzled scientists for many years. Some believe that it is a model of an ancient glider or aircraft. Others believe that it is simply a toy or a religious artifact. There is some evidence to support the theory that the Saqqara bird is a model of an aircraft. The bird's wings are swept back and have a slight upward curve, which are features of modern aircraft that help to improve lift and reduce drag. The bird's body is also shaped like a modern airplane, with a long fuselage and a pointed nose. However, there is also evidence to suggest that the Saqqara bird is not a model of an aircraft. The bird's wings are not very large, and its body is not shaped in a way that would make it very aerodynamic. Additionally, the bird has no tail, which is important for stability in flight. It is also important to note that the Saqqara bird is not the only ancient artifact that resembles an airplane. There are several other artifacts from around the world that have been interpreted as models of aircraft. However, there is no scientific evidence to suggest that any of these artifacts were actually capable of flight. So, what is the Saqqara bird? Is it a model of an ancient aircraft, or is it something else? The truth is, we don't know for sure. The Saqqara bird remains one of the most mysterious artifacts from the ancient world. Number 3. Solomon's Flying Carpets King Solomon was a wise and powerful king who ruled over a vast empire in the Middle East. He was known for his wisdom, his wealth, and his magical powers. One of the most famous legends about King Solomon is the legend of his flying carpets. According to the legend, King Solomon had a fleet of flying carpets that he used to travel long distances quickly and easily. These carpets were said to be made of the finest materials and were decorated with precious jewels. They were also said to be powered by magic, which allowed them to fly through the air without wings. The legend of King Solomon's flying carpets is thought to have originated in the Middle Ages. It is possible that the legend was inspired by the sight of birds flying through the air. However, it is also possible that the legend is based on some real knowledge of ancient technology. Some people believe that King Solomon's flying carpets were actually some kind of advanced aircraft. They point to the fact that the carpets were said to be able to fly very fast and over long distances. They also point to the fact that the carpets were said to be powered by magic, which could actually be a reference to an advanced technology that was not understood by the people of the time. Others believe that King Solomon's flying carpets were not actually aircraft at all, but were simply a way of describing the king's great wealth and power. They point to the fact that the carpets were said to be decorated with precious jewels and that they could carry the king great distances. They believe that the legend of the flying carpets is simply a way of saying that King Solomon was a very wealthy and powerful king. Whether or not King Solomon's flying carpets were real, the legend of these magical carpets has captured the imagination of people for centuries. Number 2. Nazca Line Speculation Imagine a massive drawing of a monkey etched into the desert sand or a hummingbird so large that it can only be seen from the air. These are just two of the many geoglyphs, or giant drawings, that make up the Nazca Lines in Peru. The Nazca Lines are a collection of over 800 geoglyphs, created sometime between 500 BC and 500 AD. They cover an area of over 500 square kilometers, and can only be fully appreciated from the air. The Nazca Lines depict a variety of subjects, including animals, plants, geometric shapes, and even human figures. Some of the most famous Nazca lines include the monkey, hummingbird, spider, and condor. There are many theories about the purpose of the Nazca lines. Some believe that they were created for religious or ceremonial purposes. Others believe that they were used as astronomical markers. 
Still others believe that they were created as landing strips or signals for extraterrestrial aircraft. The landing strip theory is particularly intriguing. Some of the Nazca lines are incredibly long and straight, and they seem to point in different directions. This has led some people to believe that the Nazca lines were used by ancient astronauts to land their spaceships. However, there is no scientific evidence to support the landing strip theory. The Nazca lines are located in a very dry and windy area, and it is unlikely that they would have been able to survive for thousands of years if they had been used as landing strips. Another theory is that the Nazca lines were used as astronomical markers. Some of the lines align with the sun, moon, and stars, suggesting that they could have been used to track the seasons or predict celestial events. However, the astronomical marker theory is also difficult to prove. It is possible that the Nazca lines were created for multiple purposes, including religious, ceremonial, and astronomical uses. The Nazca lines are a fascinating mystery, and they continue to intrigue scientists and tourists alike. They are a reminder of the rich and complex culture of the Nazca people, and they offer a glimpse into the past that we may never fully understand. Number 1. Ancient Vimanas Vimanas are mysterious flying machines mentioned in ancient Hindu texts like the Mahabharata and the Ramayana. They are said to be flying palaces or chariots used by gods and ancient warriors. Some people believe that Vimanas were ancient aircraft or advanced technology. There are many descriptions of Vimanas in these ancient texts. Some say that they were made of metal and had wings, while others say that they were shaped like birds or animals. Vimanas are said to have been able to fly at high speeds and reach great heights. They are also said to have been able to travel through space and time. There is no scientific evidence to support the existence of Vimanas, but some people believe that they may have been real. They point to the detailed descriptions of Vimanas in ancient texts as evidence of their existence. They also believe that the advanced technology of Vimanas may have been lost to time. There are many different theories about what Vimanas may have been. Some people believe that they were real aircraft, while others believe that they were symbolic representations of spiritual enlightenment. Still others believe that they were simply myths or legends. One of the most famous descriptions of a Vimana is found in the Mahabharata. In this epic, a character named Arjuna rides in a Vimana to a celestial city. The Vimana is described as being made of gold and silver and having three stories. It is also said to have had a garden and a swimming pool. Another famous description of a Vimana is found in the Ramayana. In this epic, the goddess Ravana uses a Vimana to kidnap Sita, the wife of Rama. The Vimana is described as being shaped like a giant bird and having wings. It is also said to have been able to fly at high speeds and reach great heights. The existence of Vimanas remains a mystery. There is no scientific evidence to support their existence, but the detailed descriptions of Vimanas in ancient texts suggest that they may have been real. Whether Vimanas were ancient aircraft, advanced technology, or something else entirely, they continue to fascinate people today. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. If you have suggestions for future videos, be sure to leave them in the comments below.